Hello students, welcome back to another lesson online. Uh, on this opportunity, we're going to be learning about how to estimate rational numbers. Those are fractions and decimals. So let's take a look at how to estimate fractions. So to estimate fractions, we need to have a mental picture of a number line. So I'm going to draw a number line, 0 and 1, and then right in the middle, I'm going to have 1 half. So if I, let's say for example that I have, 3 fourth, and I think about my number line, 3 fourth is going to be around over here. So that means that 3 fourth is closer to 1. So I'm going to estimate 3 fourth as 1 whole. That simple. If I have 1 eighth, I need to divide my number line eighth equal parts. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 eighth is going to be around here. So that means that 1 eighth is going to be closer to 0 and I can estimate the fraction to zero. Okay, give me another fraction. Let's have, for example, uh, 5 tenth. Well, 5 tenth is very interesting because 5 tenth, as you can see, 5 is a half of 10. So that means that this is 1 half because 1 is a half of 2. So 5 tenth is going to be right in the middle. So if it is 1 half, I am going to estimate that number as a whole right there. Let's take a look at another practice right here. So I have 3 fourth plus 1 half. Well, 3 fourth, I know if I do my number, my uh, mental number line, I know that 3 fourth is going to be 1. 1 half is also going to be 1, so my answer is going to be 2. 1 eighth is very close to 0, so that's going to be 0 plus 5 tenth. 5 is a half of 10, so that's going to be 1 half. 1 half is going to be closer to 1. That's going to be 1. Uh, 12, 23. So let me see. So 12 is the half of 24. So 23, that's a little bit more. So that means that this number is going to be closer to 1 plus 7 eighth. The 7 is very close to the eighth. It's at the end of the number line to the right side. That's going to be another 1. 1 plus 1 is going to be 2. 9 11th, look at how close is the 9 from 11, right? So that's going to be 1 minus 1 7th. The 1 is really far away from 7, so that's going to be 0. That's going to be 1. 16 and 32, uh, 16 is a half of 32, so this is 1 half. If you simplify, and 1 half is going to be 1. And 10, 20, 10 is a half of 20, that's one half, that's going to be another one. And that's going to be my zero right here. And this is blank because this is a lot of practice. So take your notes, go over each example and try to understand why I chose for them to be one or zeros. All right, so let's have more practice now with mixed numbers. I have four one-fifth, so that one-fifth... The 1 is really far away, far away from 5, that's going to be 0, so it's going to be 4, minus 2, 4 fifth. Look at this. The 4 is really close to the 5, so that's going to be a whole, so it's going to be 3. 4 minus 3 is going to be 2. 8, 9, tenth is going to be 9, plus 3, 1 third, that's going to be 3, that's going to be 12. 3 because 1 is kind of half, it's less than 1 half. This number right here is less than one half. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now we have decimals. This should be very easy, fairly easy for you. We're going to estimate to the closest dollar. So 98 cents is going to be one dollar. 50 cents is going to be one dollar. One dollar and five cents is going to be one dollar. 295 is going to be three dollars. 375 is going to be four dollars. 68 cents is going to be one dollar. 172 is going to be two dollars. And 25 cents is going to be zero dollars. There you go. Okay. Please let me know if you have any questions. Go ahead and do the quizzes practice and then take the test. Good luck.